Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium and I react to video game music as a musician. Myself today is the return of Xenoblade Chronicles, a game that I will be playing very soon, about a couple couple weeks from now. Don't ask me when, but a couple weeks from now. So I'm checking out all the songs uh, in my backlog before I play it, and that is Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. From the channel Joe VGM, J-O-E VGM, requested by Snifflicious and Stormfall7, we're listening to Colony 9, followed by Colony 6 Future. So that's it. Now that you know that I'm going to be playing it and the, it'll be uploaded on Jesse's VODs, try to be weary of spoilers. I'm probably going to ignore this comment section if I'm being totally honest until I'm done playing it. But um, yeah, so I can't wait. I'm playing the game because of the soundtrack and uh, I know nothing about it. So, but the music is cool. I know that. Let's just begin, go right into it. Colony 9, I'm going to assume this is a place or dungeon. I already love it. <laughs> First five seconds. Reminded me of a, a Gower playing at the just for like the beginning part. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that acoustic sounds. I just noticed the glass in this image. I've seen this image so many times I never noticed the glass shattering. Or I never paid attention to it. I feel like bass players must love I love I love when acoustic guitar is turned down like this. It's usually way up front. But this kind of just ambience of it, like you can hear the strings. Very nature-like. Yeah, I'm gonna assume this is more of an area theme. I'm not really getting battles or anything. There's that bass. It almost sounds tropical. Almost. But kind of mystical too. Fantasy meets... Oh, it sounds like a bunch of things. It sounds like fantasy... Jungle... And beach at the same time. Is there a place like that? Is there like a name for that? Like an oasis, maybe? Sort of, yeah. What, what is... What is the definition of an oasis? I know what it is, but like... What is an oasis? A fertile spot in a desert where water is found. So it's got to be desert specific. It's like one of those words you always like grew up knowing but don't know. If that makes any sense. I'm gonna loop maybe like one or two more times. Yeah, it's definitely giving me like area. Or if there's a world map, maybe this is like a world map theme. I don't know if world maps still exist in like modern games. I've been playing a lot of older like 90s games. Where there's like world map themes. I'm trying to think of like a modern game that I've played, if any, that has like a world map theme. 
Besides maybe near. Kind of. But that's what I'm getting at basically. It just sounds very we're out we're outside, we're out there. Calming though, it's like it's like nice. This is like a good drive song. Just raise your hand if you've listened to Disney Blade Chronicles while driving. Totally valid. The music is just like divine. There's times where it sounds like kind of like um, a very famous Madonna song. You know what I'm talking about? La Isla Bonita. Not really. Just, just kind of the percussion a little bit. Another island type song. Oh yeah, maybe island. And I'm really trying to think. The reason I'm like thinking so much right now, because I'm gonna play it. You know, I think. These reactions are kind of special because obviously I always react to it. It's always what's happening at the moment, what I feel at the moment. But now I know I'm going to play this game. So it's a little different of a mindset. I'm still going to give it like my best because, you know, people wait for these and um, set all my thoughts. But at the same time, I'm going to I'm going to throw a lot of like shot in the dark shots in the dark. Um, because I want to see how far or close I was once that time comes, because I'm not when the when I play the game. I'm not gonna remember every song name, and some stuff will sound familiar that I heard on the channel, but not all of it, unless it's like it really stood out. Plus all the songs I've never heard that are not even requested that are just in the game. It's gonna be overwhelming, right? It's gonna take me a while, like maybe uh, a couple weeks after beating it to like familiarize myself. But everything I've known about Xenoblade on this ch has only been on this channel, and it's been a mixed bag of everything. Two, three, this one, X, it's, it's, and Torna, you know, it's, it's, it's all over the place. At this point, I want to say the most songs I've heard have been from this one, Xenoblade Chronicles, which to my understanding is the original and then a uh, different edition. Oh crap, I just remembered. Here's a question that I won't see until later. <laughs> and I feel like I've asked this before, but did the definitive edition do anything to the music? Or did they just copy and paste it and update the graphics and stuff? All I know is that the, the DE is just like a modernized version on the Switch. That's about as, as far as my the extent of my knowledge goes. Anyways, really cool. Very area, island, oasis kind of feel to it. And yeah, it, it reminded me of Gower Plain a little bit, sort of like the sort of the rhythm kind of dancey a little just it was really just chill though that might have been one of the most i don't want to say the most chill song i've heard from xenoblade chronicles but maybe maybe colony nine talk about vague as hell colonies with numbers speaking of which we have six <laughs> six and nine uh colony six future interesting there i'm the, i don't want to guess too much but now just based on that That gave me an idea. Maybe the game just spoiled something. <laughs> but this is Colony 6 Future, so I don't know if this is Colony 6, normal. Anyways, this is Colony 6 Future from XCDE. Let's go. Let me know who the composers are for these, because I know there's like a it's like, a, it's like a collaborative work of Ace Plus and all that. Kind of similar sounding. They almost sound like they could be followed one by the other. These are happy, like these are really like nice sounding songs. You know what this sounds like? This sounds like in like older RPGs where there's like a really 
happy turning point or a discovery for the character. Like, yes, I will, or, I don't know, I'm trying to give it like a random example. Like, we're going home after all this time, type of thing, you know? Like, some revelation of good news. So funny, because in the same game, we'll have like, do 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 very diverse, man. Very diverse. Which is why I'm playing it. For those that don't know, like you're new to the channel, I don't really play games all that often. I'm not like a full-time streamer, not even a part-time streamer. But the games I've played in the past two years have all been through their music. That's my channel in. So now this is going to join those ranks of those those other titles. Final Fantasy, Wild Arms, Nier, Hades, Chrono Trigger. And it seems like a lot of people are excited about this one. Like Xenoblade Chronicles fans, in the nicest way possible, don't shut up about Xenoblade Chronicles. Like, I can't wait for you to play, I can't wait for you to blah blah blah. And honestly, I'm quite amazed I've not been spoiled on anything. Usually by now, someone's have said something. I don't know anything about Xenoblade. The only thing I know is that there's this red circular sword right here. No character names. Yeah, nothing. And my first Nintendo experience in over 20 years. Kind of exciting, you know, I'm kind of nervous. The thing about... Um, don't worry, I'm listening to the song. I, I can multitask. But the thing that kind of makes me a little... Uh, like, weary on it is... I know there's more games. There's two and there's three. I can't guarantee, you know, anything. I'm saying that because I know I'm going to get asked that question. Are you going to play the rest of them? I don't know. That depends on... How I vibe with the first. Anyways, whatever. If you're seeing this in the future or whatever, just it'll be here. Just the box. Which, by the way, over 200 people voted that they want me to local record it and not live stream it. As in, like a let's play. Wow. You know, first of all, shout out J-O-E VGM for these great uploads on this channel and for the fades out and everything. Quality stuff. Go subscribe to them. Um, so yeah, I was listening to the song the whole time. Don't worry. It's funny though, because the songs sounded pretty similar. You know, since I knew they were both had a calling in the title, but with different numbers, excuse me, I thought they were going to be way different. As soon as I saw the two numbers... Um, in my head, I was seeing more like a, like a Crash Bandicoot, like warp room, like Colony 6 and then Colony 9 over here, you know, that kind of thing. So I thought it was going to be like two different worlds or something like that. Mind you, I don't know when Xenoblade Chronicles takes place. I don't know if it's modern day. I don't know if it's future, whatever. Don't tell me. Everything I'm saying is rhetorical, right? Because like I said, and I'm being totally honest here, this will be like the only YouTuber that will ever admit this. I'm not going to read these comments for a while. But I think you'll understand why. It's not because I'm ignoring you. Feel free to say whatever you want. But I'm not going to see it for a while. So, there's that. Because um, I only get one chance at at both reaction, reaction, reacting to the songs and one time to experience anything. In this case, the game. You know, only one time. I can't recreate that. So, it's a special thing. And uh, I take it very seriously, and yeah, so. But yeah, the song sounded way, way more similar than I thought. Like, they sounded like they could be in the same area almost, just like in a separate section. Like, I guess, I don't know if dungeon is the right word, but to, to me it sounds very vast, really open. A lot of the songs in this game sound open. Like, you're in a really open area. Like, our plane sounds really open. So do these two. So I'm thinking now this is like, 
one of the colonies is here and the other one is just like down the road type of thing. They both had that charming, happy energy. And that's really it, you know? Um, I, don't, I don't know if none of them, any of these melodies are going to stick with me, like long term. But what I did feel is these are the two kind of songs that would have light motifs in them. You know, like they're, they're, they're I don't know how to say this sounding like kind of mean, but they sound like songs that are kind of meant to be forgettable, if that makes any sense. Like they're just kind of there, but they'll have traces of another song or a motif. If Xenoblade has a, 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 like a reoccurring light motif, I don't know it yet. I don't think I've heard it. So that's what I'm saying. It sounds like more of a, just a song that's just kind of kicking it in the background and not as important. Please correct me if I'm wrong. That's just what I get from it. Then again, you're watching someone hearing songs completely blind. So, that being said, both are really nice songs. They put me in a good mood. <laughs> really cheerful, you know. Really, let's go get them, team. But, uh, yeah, very just kind of background music. Which is fine. This is totally fine, by the way. You have to remember, video game music is not just one-dimensional. By no means. It's multi-dimensional. And every part of the puzzle is what makes it beautiful. The forgettable songs, the menu music, the credits, the the boss themes, you know, it's not all about just the cool stuff, if that makes any sense, you know what I mean? It's the collaborative work, so for me, I can even find the positive in something like that. And like I said, it's not bad, it's not bad music, it's not terrible, it's nothing negative at all. It's just not going to be something, it's just not going to be two songs that stick with me for a long time. I hope that makes sense without like offending anybody. It's really hard to mess up, you know? Like, I could tell these composers put their all into these. It's not like they're deliberately trying to, you know what I mean? I think you guys know what I mean. I don't have to explain this stuff to you, but you never know, you know? Sometimes people on the internet, they hear one thing and then they just kind of, they, they close their mind to the rest of it. That's it's kind of unfortunate, but it's the world we live in sometimes. But I enjoyed these. Will I remember them? No. Maybe. Who knows? That's another thing, too, I should mention. That a reaction is way different than, like, you know, what the future entails. There's been songs where I kind of didn't care. And then I ended up like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that song. And then I hear it more, you know. A first-time listen is drastically different from anything. You know, it's so unique. It's such a unique, captured experience. I'm, I sound like I'm selling my channel or something, but you know what I mean? It's 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 very unique, and that's why it's like doing well, because of you guys, and you're seeing that. Anyways, <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles will be on my VOD channel, Jesse's VODs, sometime in May. It is basically May already, so it's coming soon. And whether I stream it or not, whatever, it's going to be there. So a big shout out to Jash for providing the Switch. Thank you to Stormfall7 and Sniffalicious for the song. And thank you to my Patreon members, to my Platinum members, Xenoblade fans around the world. Uh, don't spoil anything. See you later.